Thanks very much. 649 right now, WMAR2 News is your voice for veterans, which holds a little more weight today, Veterans Day. One of the ways service members have always maintained contact with loved ones back home is through their letters. WMAR2 News' Aaron McPherson talked with a man who's been collecting now those war letters for two decades. Aaron, it is really an incredible collection. It is an Definitely an incredible collection, especially seeing some of it firsthand so far. He's collected more than 150 thousand war letters from every conflict in history and that is just remarkable. Now Andrew Carroll created the Center for American War Letters to help preserve these letters and when we visited him last week he showed us nearly 1500 letters he got in just one week and one family gave him an entire trunk full of letters from World War II along with that soldier's watch, wallet and pictures. The Center for American War Letters focuses on letters but memorabilia helps bring these men and women to life, which aside from recording history, that's Carol's goal. What I most hope comes out of this project is that we can humanize these men and women who serve. They are not just soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines. Every single one of them has a loved one, has a spouse or a sweetheart, they're a child, they're a parent. And just to remind people that these are not statistics that go off to fight and to remember the actual names and stories of these incredible men and women. Carol collects letters from the American Revolution up until today. He showed us one letter written on Adolf Hitler's stationery just days after he committed suicide. His most iconic letter is one with a bullet hole in it. It went straight through a backpack, through the soldier, and into that soldier. Now, luckily, that soldier did survive. And these are just a couple of the examples of the letters that he showed us. And we have that full story coming up tonight on WMAR 2 News at 11 after the CMA. So you can see just more in depth depth letters. And we also have some information on our website, WMAR2news.com. Live at Fort McHenry, Aaron McPherson, WMAR2news.